Hi, everybody. I am so, 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 so sorry. That was a classic example of the best late plans going awry. I tried to be early and ended up being really late. That's all right. And Fred has to leave early. So um, I suggested changing the agenda around so we get the, the questions of the Google licenses up front to the beginning of the meeting after the minutes. He was trying to get in, so I expected to see him here. Well, he, he just emailed saying that he was gonna try and log in from his second location. Oh, okay. In 10 minutes. Okay. I have to, I have to, I will be right back. Are you okay, Grace? Yes, I okay. am okay. So we might not see Fred for a little bit. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I had um, two questions for you, Dr. Drupal, um, but they don't have to take place during the meeting. So we can do our decision making, approve the minutes or not, and close the meeting so Fred can get out. Okay. If you'll hang around, I'll ask you the couple of Drupal questions. Should we start them or you want to just ask them now? Oh, sure. Have to, okay. Because I have to do some research. No, I don't think you're going to have. Oh, I can't share a screen. Okay. So one of the questions is the, the whole thing about body summary. And in many cases, it does not reflect uh, the contents of the page. It was clearly put in. X years ago and doesn't hasn't kept up. Mm -hmm. um, and if you try to change um, a link, you have to do it both in the body and in the body summary. Yeah. So the way that it works, Drupal, like all the different views and stuff, is set to look. If there is a body summary, use that. If there's not a body summary, use the first 600 characters of whatever the item is. Okay. Um, so if you just delete the body summary, then it just pulls that. The body, body summary is there. So if you want it to be a little different than the actual page. Okay. Then it, that's, you would put that text there. But it doesn't have a function as, as it is. As a well, it does. I could simply delete the, the body summary right. and yeah, without damage. Okay. Yeah. Good I mean, to there's, know. There's some pages where like it it happens to land like end at a weird place and it you might want to put in a summary then. Okay. Uh, but you kind of have to look and see what happens. Okay. But yeah, you can just delete the summary. Okay, not, good. Not worry about it. Yep. Um, the other question has to do with bulleted lists in the information research page, and I, I need to be able to show you uh, the edit view and the, uh, the view view, because they're different and things happen. So I'll wait till I can get screen share. Okay. Oh, Grace? Yes. Can you give me screen share, please? Yes, I can. Should work now. Why can't I? Bummer. Okay. Is it working? Yeah, I just can't find what I want to, to show. Um, no. I 
I'm sorry. We're all having the same kind of day. <laughs> Select a window or an application. Okay, window one. Why won't it, let me show. Should we open the meeting at this point? Or are we, just, are we just, talk, well, we can't, we have a quorum. But or are we, if we're just talking about I'm just so, asking him some general yeah, questions rather than. Fine. Okay, let me. Lord. Share screen. Here is my screen. And I'll bet you don't see that. No, I don't see anything yet. Okay. I'm gonna mute just because I'm cutting paper and I think that's probably loud. Oh, oh, wait, there's Fred. Uh, okay. Now I can see. Now you can see it, okay. So I'm at the information page and in edit mode, and you can see all these nice four lines. But if I go to, here, can you see this now? Yeah. Do you see the second page? Yep. Only two lines show, how come? So this is where you would want the, um, summary, you would want to put the summary in there because so the system is set up to grab the first 600 characters and it's counting HTML as characters. Okay. So unless link, it's different in the summary. Okay. Yeah. So if you, if you copy everything from the article into the summary, then it should all show up there. Okay. And here's Fred. Hello, Fred. Unmute, Fred. Okay, I can stop sharing. Yeah, we, we can't hear you, Fred. Can you hear us? You're muted. There, I now you go. I to get these headphones to pair, but I couldn't do it. So. Oh. Okay. Okay, so the meeting is now being called to order. It is 723. Uh, did you all have a chance to read the minutes? We have to, remember, we have to start with the with all of us saying our names. Okay. Dale Fleischaker here. Grace Banish here. Fred Steinberg. Jamie Malcolm Brown here. Okay. Um, did you all have a chance to read the minutes that were amended from our last meeting, April 6th? Yes. Do you have any comments or questions or can we go ahead and approve them as presented? Fred, what does your head shake mean? Oh, I'm shaking at my technology. That's all. The minutes are fine. Yeah, the minutes are fine. Okay. Um, then um, I'm reporting that Becky said there's no way they can get somebody lined up to even look at the uh, archiving of emails without a funding source in place. That clearly isn't going to happen between now and the end of the fiscal year. So um, we need to have, we need to get licenses for everybody that's now on our system at least. Um, so 
do you want to see the chart of who we have currently licenses for, uh, accounts for? Yeah, let me bring that up. I'm gonna share. Can you see this? Do you see a, a spreadsheet? Yep. Okay, so 17 departments and officers, 21 committee boards or org addresses, three individual select board members, and there are 10 current no longer needed, but we have to hang on to them because we cannot archive them. That leaves 51 licenses. Is that enough or do we need to um, add extras for future adding assignments? Uh, well, I, I can report back what Connor told me. Oh yeah. Um, so he said that when we sign the agreement, um, we can add licenses, but we can't take away licenses. So if we start with a 51 and then we find we need nine more, we can add them in. We can add them later? Yeah. We can take away at the end of the agreement. The, the three year. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he also said that we could mix account types. Yes. So we can have like, like Becky and you, Grace, with the business account, which gives you a lot more space. And then everybody Two. else could be the 30 or the 15, whatever it is. 30. Yeah. It, it would be 30. Yeah. At, at, at three bucks a month. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's Tara. Yeah. At twice the price. Right. So we would get the people that need that on to the terabyte version. That sounds do, perfect. Do you think that's necessary? Yes. Yeah, because we don't want them fighting with their data just to save a couple dollars. Yeah, okay. It, it is absolutely necessary. I mean, Becky's email got over capacity two weeks ago, the week before, right. the week before town meeting. Okay. And it was an absolute nightmare. I mean, it's always a nightmare when it happens, but for it to happen right then, it was really, it's been, it's been difficult. We need more space. Okay. So 49 regular plus two business, right? Right. Okay. So <clears throat> Grace, can you think of anybody else that would need the business? Board of Health is getting sort of close, but with 30, um, there's lots of room for her. And the and the fourth one is is way behind that uh, against the 15. Um, Meg, so okay. I'm guessing if we can if we can add licenses in the future, that means we can also add higher capacity licenses. We we can change the categories. Yeah. Yeah. So for okay. now we've got yeah for now we've just got these two accounts that are either approaching in my case or in Becky's case regularly exceeding capacity. Okay. So total. Okay, so that's what we would sign. Right? Right. Yep. Okay. So let me put that in here.
Okay. Uh, I'm typing minutes as we go because we're not going to have a meeting again, as far as I see it, for a long time. So we can do this whole thing tonight. Can add licensing. Well, contract for uh, 49. What was the name for the regular one, Jamie? The regular standard? Uh, standard sound right? I think so, but I can double check here. Yeah, standard users. And business? Oh, wait. So there's starter and then standard. Is how he referred to them. So starter is the $3 one and standard is the more expensive one. Okay. But it's 30 meg? Yeah. 30 gigabytes. Gig, sorry. Yeah. Um, and the other is one tera or two? Two terabytes. And that's standard? Yeah. So there's, it's called the business starter plan and the business standard plan. I see. Okay. And he's still agreeing with the $3 a month and $6 a month prices? Um, the $3 he agreed, he didn't mention anything about the higher rate. Okay. So I would um, entertain a motion that we initiate an agreement for licenses at Google Workspace 49 at the starter level plus two at the standard level. So moved. Okay. Ray Spanish, aye. We didn't have a second. Yeah. I, I thought you said so second. I, well, you said so moved. I mean, she said. Okay. Okay. Second. The motion. <laughs> second. Yeah. I second. Okay. I will move this along. And then, um, were you going to get back to Connor or should I get back to Connor? Wait, we all have to vote. We have to vote. Oh, good point. Yes. <laughs> uh, how many votes? I, please. Flesh your eye. Aye. Aye. Spanish eye. Jamie Malcolm Brown, I. Okay. Ah. The $2,000 is probably going to be less than paying somebody to the archive. I can't hear you, Fred. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Barely. Hello. I don't know where my microphone is. <laughs> um, I was just saying the, uh, the Gmail fees are probably less than we'd have to pay for the archive service anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that can down the road forever. <laughs> okay, so um, since I'm the one who started with Connor, initially, I think I'll follow up with him. And because we had talked about how the contract agreement would be sent to me and then okayed by Becky and blah, 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 blah. Okay. 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 Nineteen oh eight. All right, that was easy. Thank you all.
That was good. Uh, I can stop sharing if I can figure out how to do it. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, Grace, did you find out whether the list of subscribers to town announcement is subject to the mass public law? I am very sorry. I have just not had time to dig into this. You have been otherwise occupied? Really? I mean, okay. uh, yeah, I'm actually, I decided since I was going to be at the meeting anyway, I would fold ballots. I'd okay. multitask while I did it. So <laughs> is I've it been, kosher? The only thing that hangs on it is the wording of the town announcement policy. Would it be kosher for you to make a determination and let me know? And I. What I need to do is email Donna. If you want to email Donna and get this conversation rolling, because I don't think I'm going to have time. Until okay. At this point. So she has the final word on that. Well, she's our town council. So okay. what we really need is a pretty straightforward legal advice answer. Okay, so Gail will. Thank you, and I'm sorry. Normally I love the public record stuff, but. Right, that's the. Elections come first. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And then when I get that determination, can I then adjust the wording in the town announcement policy without calling another meeting? Please say yes. If everybody well, is okay with that. Everyone okay with that? I'm okay yes. with that, Gal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you know this is being recorded. <laughs> like, well, and we want to do it. I say yes to people. Could, we want to do it properly, but also we want to do it realistically. I mean, that's no, I know. Okay. It's so um, I will then adjust the wording in the town announcement policy according to whatever uh, Donna shows up, and then I'll take both policies, the town announcement policy and the web policy, to the select board for formal approval. Then we will have two up-to-date standing policies. Amazing. Ta -da! Uh, it's great. Okay. Now, um, I asked you all if you could serve on the committee for this next year, and you all said yes, but there was a proviso from Jamie, who will not be able to be on the committee past this year. So in terms of future planning, uh, we need to scout for someone to be the Drupal administrator. Um, Jamie, how were you brought on board in the first place? Did, how did you sign up? Who got you to sign up? Um... What did you think you were signing up for? <laughs> I don't honestly don't remember who talked to me first, but I think I think I probably read on town announced that the web committee was looking for help and I was new to town yeah. and had young kids and more time yeah, on I think my hand. The word, yeah, Drupal was mentioned because we had uh, a previous person, Willa, who did the first Drupal thing. Yep. Yeah. So we were looking for Drupal expertise. So okay. Um, so a few months down the road, should we put out a similar announcement and bring somebody on board that can be sort of transition looking over your shoulder, Jamie, are you looking over his or her shoulder? We could also, in addition to kind of announce something in the, our town next in the fall, if we're still looking, which we may be. But then also, if you got involved because you have young kids, we have a ton of new residents in town with young kids. We should put something in the road town news. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Um, 
when? What's timing? School year starts in the fall. Um, when do you think the next meeting would be? There's there's no cause for a meeting, as far as I know. That's. Um, I mean, you can call a meeting anytime you want. Right. Well, I think it would make sense if we met quarterly. If nothing else comes up. Yeah. Just to check in and make sure nothing else has come up. I mean, I get I get comments all the time at the town clerk's office about the website or the emails or town announce. Still getting a lot of people telling me they're sure they already signed up for town announce, but aren't getting the emails. And I say check your spam box, but I don't really um, know what's going on there. Give give me those names, please, and let me uh, check the background on in town announce. I can for I can forward those emails to you when I get them. Yeah. Yeah, because one we found out uh, had inadvertently unsubscribed and didn't know that she'd done that. So that explains. Yeah. What I what I tell people is, if you think you've subscribed and you're not getting an email, just subscribe again to be safe. Yeah, that works. So let me go back to the topic. So we're gonna put a plea uh, in the town announce. Fred, what are you saying? I was talking to somebody else, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, and what was the, the newspaper, the news thing that you mentioned? The Road Town News. It's the, the, school. It's the school newsletter. Road Town News? Hoping to capture parents of young children. Is that right? Did you say parents and young children, or parents well, of, 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 of? Okay. We, we we the select board can appoint anyone over the age of thirteen. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, I was just suggesting the Road Town News because it's widely read in town, and it's a good way to attract new residents who have energy mm. and don't know what they're signing up for. <laughs> Okay. Um, are we at risk uh, with not getting to Drupal 9 yet? Or is that um, just I mean technically we're at risk, but I mean I'm getting close. There's a couple few things I'm trying to figure out. Um so I'm hoping in the next month that we'll be up to nine. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That is good news. Okay. Um, Fred, how are we doing? Good. All right. Um, it's formatting. Silly. Okay. Um, when do you think we should try to get somebody on board? Is a transition important, Jamie? Um, I mean, yes. I'm not. I'm not going away from town, so I can right. still like. If they have questions about how our specific thing is set up, I can help them out. But but if they know Drupal, oh. that's not going to be a big. Yeah. OK. It depends on their level of knowledge, but for the most part, yes. it should be easy. OK. The, that, there's a big presumption here, and that is that somebody is going to volunteer to do this. Right. Um, and I don't really know, you know, the population or what, but I would not be surprised if there's no takers. 
I can't hear you, Fred. You would not be surprised if what? If there's no, nobody steps up to do this. It's oh. kind of a specialized skill. And, yep. you know, Jamie's a little special in that he's willing to, to volunteer and a lot of people are not. So people who have this skill, it's gonna be a hard combination to find somebody with this skill who's willing to and, do it. Yeah. That's my uh, take on it. I don't know if that's correct, but. I think it's I less a presumption and more a fervent hope. Yes, <laughs> of the opposite. We'll keep looking until we find that person. Right. We don't Jamie, have much other options. Jamie, can you estimate, uh, apart from doing updates from eight to nine, seven to eight, whatever, can you estimate the number of hours or the number of times you're called upon to bail somebody out or solve a problem or fix a bug? Um, it's pretty variable, but it's not too often. Yeah. It's more of the updates that take the, the time. Um, and then like, if, if you have future projects you want to do that, that could take a lot of time. Like, oh, we want to add this feature or we want to change this around that can really add up to hours. Right. But if it was just a base year with just occasional fixes, yeah. Um, maybe like 50 to 100 hours a year. Okay. Okay. And no schedule. I mean, it just, it is what it is when it is. Right. Which makes it, yeah. Okay. Um, so let me go back to what you were saying, um, Grace about establishing regular meeting times. Is that the sense of this group that you want to have the committee meet four times a year, regular schedule? It's what I would prefer. I feel a lot better and more secure. Like if we plan to meet, instead of just meeting when things come up, if we plan to meet, then we're better able to catch the little things that might come up in the interim before a big thing comes up. Um, but I'm very, very flexible. Like I'm not gonna complain about not having to go to meetings. So <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a suggestion I am making, but it's totally up to the group. What kind of thing would be an agenda item that didn't need attention right then and there, the way we've been handling it. Something comes up, we have a meeting and take care of it. What would, what's an example of something that would be, that could wait for two months or three months? So something we could do is focusing more on like specific web pages, like the homepage. I feel like the homepage is kind of a bit of a mess right now. Yeah. Um, there's some like old stuff we have up there that we could talk about, but it's not urgent. You know, the really important stuff is always at the top where people need to find it. Um, I know that a weird thing is Becky's number, office number is right next to mine on the homepage, but I always get phone calls from people saying they found only found my phone number and not Becky's. I have no idea why this happened. Just like little things like this. But, you know, I mean, if people prefer not to have meetings unless we really need to, that is also an option. Both things have viable pros and cons. Well, we could always put it, a meeting on the schedule and then decide if there's nothing happening to cancel it. Mm -hmm. Jamie, Fred, what are your thoughts? I would uh, support scheduled quarterly meetings. Yeah, Seems I would as well. OK. OK. Should we vote on that? We can. Would you care to make a motion? I make a motion that we 
have quarterly meetings from now on. Second. Second. It was moved and seconded. Ray Spanish, aye. <clears throat> Fred Fleischaker, aye. Jamie Malcolm Brown, aye. Steinberg? He did it. I already oh, I did, yes. I can't hear. Okay. When's the first meeting? September? September? So let's, let's do like mid to late September. Okay. Um, except you dads are going to have different schedules probably in September, right? Yeah, but it'll be more settled than the summer. Yeah, let's just just pick a Wednesday and, and we can adjust when we get closer. Okay, Wednesdays are good now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll, say, I'll aim at a mid-September Wednesday. Yep. Uh, no. And that date would be what? Anybody got a calendar handy? Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, so 14th or the 21st or the 28th? Fred, your call. 21. 21. 21. Jamie, does that work for you? Yep. Okay. Wednesday, 21 September. That's an equinox, I think. What? Perhaps. That might be yeah, an the, equinox. The calendar on the next day said first day of fall. So that means, yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. Is there anything else anybody would like to bring up at the meeting tonight? Uh, let me check the form of these minutes. Oh, I have yep. a I have a quick technical question. So I've been making these. I make a, a new web page for every election. Um, it creates a nice little history of every election and afterwards and it also is useful for people i would really like to be able to center the top text but every time i try to do that um it shows up really weird on phones hmm. because you put a hard kit at the end of the line i put a what at the end of the line a hard um enter oh if, if if to get it uh, online, probably you would have to set margins. Use the margins to squish it. Otherwise, if you use the hard space, hard return, you'll get those big spaces on the. All right. I will experiment with the margin thing. Jamie, you have any advice on how to make things look right on a laptop, a PC, phone, iPad? Um, unfortunately, it's trial and error, <laughs> mostly error. <laughs> so you get your devices all lined up, Grace. Here we go. And I oh, have a, a whole setup, all the screens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that the June twenty eighth special election? Mm -hmm. 
Those are nice. That's very, it's, it's great to have everything on that one page. Yeah, and I really like the adding the, like the Gazette coverage and stuff. And then like, I went back and looked at the 2021 page when I was making this year's pages. And I was like, oh, this is bringing back memories and remembering stuff. Yeah. And also, oh, look, it's everything I would want to know about a past election right here on this one page. Um, yeah, I'm, I think it's, a, it, it's working very well as a tool. Um, and um, just a request, don't tag the town meeting page. Okay. Because I the town, did, the yeah, town I, meeting page is for the history, you know, what is town meeting and then year by year by year, but not the ongoing stuff. I, yes, and which is why I didn't at first, but then I got um, numerous inquiries from people who were going to the town meeting page and wondering why they couldn't find it there. Which is despite your big announcement on the home page. Oh. Yeah. I can add something then to the town meeting page that says for current, for information on the current page, go to. We'll we we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll experiment okay. with what looks best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Three. Four. But yeah, vote June twenty eighth, everybody. Woo! Yes, indeedy. All right, I'm just about ready here. And if you're not in town, absentee ballots are currently being folded. <laughs> we saw your email. Good. I'm glad it reached you. All right. Uh, do I hear? Uh, do we adjourn before looking at the minutes? No, we got to look at the minutes first. Okay. Duh. Um, I'm going to share my screen. I think. Why is this so hard? Get that out of the way. What do you see? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now are you seeing something? Yes. Now okay. we're seeing your page. Well, okay. your home page, your screen saver. I mean, desktop, whatever I'm talking about. You're seeing the document. Yeah. No. Well, no, we're seeing the desktop. Doc, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go. I'm sure your meeting, your minutes are fine. You have a quorum without me, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Thanks. I gotta. Do you go. approve the minutes, Fred? Thank you. Sure. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, it says I'm. <sighs> Dang. Okay. Now we're back to the. Now we're back to the, oh, oh, okay. Here there we, we go. go, the document. Yay! This is for tonight's minutes. Looks good so far. Mm -hmm.
Just missing a C on the start of that 3A. Say it again, please. You're missing a C for a can. Jamie reports that we oh. can add licenses. Oh, you want that there, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any other suggestions on how we can put out a broadcast uh, a plea for our Drupal expertise? Um, Is there such thing as a, a network? Well, would that be only for hired paid people? Yeah, that'd be for hired paid people. Yeah. yeah. No. Not yeah, I mean, there is, but it's for hired paid people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if there's an easy way to contact like um, former or like kids that are in college that are technically Shootsbury residents or anything like that that might like have the expertise, but I wouldn't know how to reach those people. Uh, we can get that though into the town announcement language. Do you know anyone or do you have a you know, sister, mother, brother, friend, aunt, cousin? We could uh, put a flyer up at the library on the bulletin board. There are a number of young people in town who go there and volunteer mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that'd be good. But I think like mainly it's gonna end up being us randomly asking anyone who seems likely that we happen to meet. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Okay, any changes here? Do I hear a motion to accept the, the minutes? So moved. Yep. All in, uh, second? Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye, fly shaker aye. Ray Spanish aye. Jamie Malcolm Brown aye. Do I hear a, media, a, a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Yeah, I second. Okay, fly shaker aye. Ray Spanish aye. Jamie Malcolm Brown, aye. Thank you. It is now 8.04. Don't go away, Jamie. Thank you all. Thank you, Gail. You're welcome. Thank you, Jamie. Yes. Have a good night, everybody. You too. You too.